Let's review custom fields in Follow Up Boss and how you can best use them. So I'm here in the contact record. To find your custom fields, you're probably going to scroll down a little bit here on your left hand side. Um, you can also expand, you know, open or close these tabs. You can also move them around. So if you're using custom fields more than say something else, you can move them up by grabbing these uh, eight little dots and move it up. I do recommend having background at the top and obviously leaving the contact details and info up here. But if you're gonna use custom fields, you can move them up a bit if that helps. Um, so you can move these around a bit. Um, that is only for your account. So anyone on the team or using your follow boss account can have their own settings, both here and on the right hand side. But looking at custom fields here, there's some really interesting things you can do with them. This is a demo account, so we've just got some kind of made up things as we go. But, you know, things like tracking dates, uh, birthdays or closing dates, uh, things like that are a great use of custom fields. Custom fields can trigger automations. They can show up in smart lists. There's a lot of cool things you can do here. So um, things like are they pre-approved or not? Some people actually use this as a bit of a qualification um, process. So if you set up custom fields, this says, hey, are they pre-approved? Are they working with an agent? You can almost use it as a script while you're on the phone to update these custom fields. Another cool use are things like tracking. If you have referral partners, you can track their locations. You could have a, a drop down for which state a referral partner is in. Um, if you do have an ISA, you can use things like, uh, or if you have multiples especially, who set that appointment, what was the date that the ISA transferred it to the agent, uh, if you want to be able to track that. Some other cool things with custom fields with systems like YLOPO, uh, push in the stars link, which is how you access the back end of YLOPO to do property alerts or start or stop Raya, the uh, AI chatbot. So another cool thing that YLOPO and a few other systems I believe do, they'll push in a custom field for how many logins or uh, Fault Boss natively has a how many properties have they saved or viewed. Um, so lots of cool things you can do here. But I want to tackle a little more, not just use cases, but how to set these up and modify them and using the appropriate format. So admin or owner level users can go to admin, custom fields, um, and you can see the essence of it. You know, what's the name of it? What type is it, which we're going to dig into in a minute. Another cool feature is you can actually um, click anything blue in Follow Boss. We click this number, it actually will take you um, to everyone who has that custom field. So that's a pretty cool feature. Um, you can hide if empty, which a lot of times I don't recommend. If you have a lot, sometimes it can make sense. Um, but loosely speaking, I, I don't like to use this box a whole lot. Read only allows agents to see custom fields, agent level users to see custom fields, but not modify them. So if you're tracking something like a company lead or something specific, you don't want to be edited, uh, but you want the agents to see it, you can use this read only button. And then only admins or owners would be able to modify uh, the actual content of that field. So I'm going to go ahead and, and you can edit if you have existing, you can edit or delete them over here, of course. I'm going to go ahead and start a fresh one just to give an example here. Um, and I think in this case, I bet we've, we've already got that recruiting status one, but let's just run down. Be sure you name it something that makes sense um, so it's easy to find and understand. Your type options are text, which is purely just entered typed in text. The downside to this is you can't, exactly keyword search really easily. Um, but sometimes you need fields where somebody can just type in, you know, a note or kind of a detail. But uh, this is a bit of a free form, makes it a little hard to sort or filter by uh, the variables, uh, the data that is in it. Date is obviously a great one. We mentioned this for closing date or house anniversary, closing anniversary, birthdays. Um, but you're going to want to use the date format because the date format is what can actually trigger automations, uh, smart lists. If you have something like coming up in the next five days or the next 15 days, um, you can do that. There's also a checkbox here under date for occurs every year. So obviously you would want this for some sort of recurring uh, birthday, closing date, anniversary, things like that. You would wanna check that because most likely you want anything tied to that to fire consistently um, or you know, 
each year on that date. You don't want it to just not a birthday is not just that year. It's something that continues every year. And then number is a, a bit more searchable because you can filter by um, amount. You can sort by a range or filter by a range of amounts, um, a specific amount. So um, again, if you're doing money or something to that effect, uh, the number field is better for that because it gives you a little more flexibility in saying, hey, show me everybody between you know, 350 and 450 closing price uh, type of scenario. And then drop down is one I really like and really recommend. Because you're adding pre-filled options, you're going to have consistent information. So if you wanted to use this, again, for something like that recruiting status, it allows you to say, hey, show me everybody who's in hot recruiting um, here or show me, you know, recruiting people I have not contacted yet. And you can add as many options as you want. You can also reorder them. Um, you can edit them a bit after the fact, um, but it's it's best. Actually, you can do that now. Uh, initially, you could not. But, um, you know, again, make sure these are named really well. Put them maybe in an order that flows a little better. Um, if someone's kind of moving through a funnel, you know, maybe put the not contacted first and then the contacted no response and then you know hot prospect and then joined so add as many options as you want again you can reorder them here um i would you know that might be a good read only one if, if you want to not have other people potentially do that but to, to do that name it pick your right format you cannot change the format after this is created there's some fancy ways you could export and re-import data into a custom field, but it's really important to get these right the first time. You don't want to be messing with these after the fact. So again, once they've been added, you've got them here. Um, you can hit that edit button and you know, here's some of our kind of made up recruiting statuses. Um, but just a really powerful tool to be able to, um, without adding a bunch of stages to your account, because the stages are global, and you don't need your agents to be scrolling through a bunch of recruiting stages or other stages that aren't relevant for them. So really powerful as almost a second set of stages within Follow Boss. And then you again in a smart list you could use that. Say hey, show me all, you know, my recruiting leads in not contacted or in hot prospect. And then just like anything in Follow Boss, you can toggle through those. You could send a batch email. You can you know hit a calling list and call them one after another. A lot of great uses there. Um, you can also reorder these over here, and this is global for your account. So whatever you move over here in an owner or admin account is going to be the order for everyone on your team. In Follow Boss, some things are unique to the user if changed, um, but things like this are global across your entire account. So just a really powerful feature for a number of things, tracking money, tracking people, tracking statuses. Um, tracking ISA things, some additional, you know, I, people have come up with really cool, interesting things for these. So it's a powerful tool. Wanted to run that down. Again, it would be admin for any admin or owner level user to custom fields. And, you know, create these, play around with them a little bit, move them around. Um, you know, be sure you train your team on what you expect in using these. But a really powerful feature. I just wanted to cover... Um, the essence of them here and hopefully give you some ideas on how you can use these in your business.